Good afternoon. This is Tanisha Laverne Grant with BlackInAmerica.com, and I am super excited to bring to the platform one of the most prolific directors of our time, prolific in my opinion. He's brought us some amazing films, Day Watch, Night Watch, Wanted, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Vampire Hunter, Unfriended, Searching. Um, and today we are finally gonna get an opportunity to talk about the long awaited release of Prolific, um, Profile, I'm sorry, Profile, I'm stuck on this term, Prolific, <laughs> Profile of, um, this film is called, Pro, Pro, uh, let me take that back. The film is called Profile. Um, it is based on the book In the Skin of Jihadists, and it is directed by, of course, this legend, Tamir Bekmambetov. How are you? Thank you. you it, it, how, how difficult to pronounce my name, yeah? You know, I got it down, though. Like a real Russian name it should be long and difficult to pronounce. I got it. You listen, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. This film, you know, I remember seeing press about this film around 2018. And it's so interesting to me. It's like the timing of the release for right now in this moment that we're in, in the middle of this global health crisis where we are pinned to our screens. I mean, we were pinned to our screens before, but now it is a part of our new normal because of this pandemic. Yes. And screen life genre that you've been introducing for the past few years. And now with this film profile, I mean, let's just talk about that a little bit. Like, what are your thoughts about the timing of this? Yeah, we were, we were, we were a little bit ahead of time because first screen life movie, uh, we shot 2013, 14 and released was 2015. It called Unfriended. And it was the first movie where the story entirely take place on computer screen and uh, at that time it was uh, it was strange it was radical <laughs> and uh, we we didn't expect that uh, five years later we will live in digital space and we will talk now not in, in person in hotel usually it's like press junkets in hotel yeah in yeah now we're all in digital space. And so uh, I don't know if it's good or bad, uh, but it's reality we live in. And, uh, and we need just to learn how to live in this world. We need to understand how to be happy in this world, uh, how to uh, be good in this world. And, uh, and so this whole screen life uh, format about yeah. it's a, to understand ourself in digital space. Now, what made you want to do this film, you know, about this book or based off of the book? I, in the I will, of I'm I sorry. will tell you. I don't know. Yeah, uh, this book was just a uh, discovery because I was constantly looking. Uh, I had this idea that uh, the new type of cinema is a screen life where stories took place on computer screens or devices screens. But I was trying to find a good story for that, and mm. Unfriended was 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 a, was a high concept, uh, high concept uh, movie, horror movie, and there was a, searching was really good, uh, in detective story, and I was looking for something uh, more, how is that sophisticated? Maybe I don't know how to describe it. Something more nuanced, you know, a little less like a. A, a little less uh, exploitational and a little more like a dramatic, and uh, and I found this uh, book. My par writing partner Olga, she 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 told me about the article in mm -hmm. Guardian, uh, telling story about the young journalist uh, 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 investigating trying to co collect information how uh, how terrorists recruiting girls in Europe. And I was, it's all happening online. And I thought, oh, this is a perfect story for a screen life movie because they never met each other. The whole story, whole thriller happened in digital space. And we it's wrote amazing. the script. And the casting, the casting, oh my goodness, is so remarkable. Like, where did you find these two? I mean, Valine and Shazad, I mean, they are... 
Yeah, they, they, they're, they're so well paired, so well paired in their chemistry. Yes, it, it is, it is, it is, it is talented people, my directing skills, and a good story. And, uh, and also there was one secret. I remember uh, when I, when I met Anna, the, the author of the book, mm -hmm. she gave me a chance to see the original screen grabs oh, from wow. Scary. And I remember how seductive was this man, how uh, macho, how... More, pardon me for cutting you off, but when I'm, I'm watching this movie, and of course I'm watching it from the perspective of a journalist, right? Yes, and I'm saying to myself, you know, how does she get, how does she get sucked in? Like, how does she get sucked in? You know, when I'm, you know, I'm reading about this and he's, Oh my goodness, so well cast because his Bilal, his Bilal just pulls you right in. As soon as he comes on the screen and he says, Asalaamu As Alaikum, my sister, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, I get it. Because, you know, it's, I mean, uh, let, let me try to explain. I will try. I don't know if I can, uh, because I'm a filmmaker. I can. I, I can make movies, but it's very difficult to sometimes to verbalize. Uh, they are not actors. They are real people. And uh, they cannot play love. They, she must be in love with the person to be able to convince, you know, yeah. him. In this case, she was not playing a role. She was in love. It was only way for her to get the information, you know? Yeah. It was the yeah. way for her to be prof to, to to be effective you know yeah and uh, it was quite risky uh for me it was quite risky uh, uh sto story because if i will make a mistake she will look goofy and mm -hmm. silly you know but uh i hope i i i we survived and 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 we created the character with the unbelievably uh, unbelievable, uh, unbelievable, challenging uh, uh, goal. How to convince very smart guy that you're in love with him? You know, you are, you like him and you you love him. If you if you don't, you know, yeah. in the only way because she's not a she's not an actress. She's a journalist, right? And uh, and also she's a lonely woman, and uh, even she had a boyfriend, but she was kind of feeling lonely and yeah. suddenly you have a man uh you need to seduce and you're not an actress you're a journalist it's it's very it's a very tough journey and uh and she was brave and strong enough to stop at the last moment when she got everything she she was looking for and uh and stop herself it's a, like a roller coaster you know like emotional roller coaster uh, when, it definitely uh, took you. It took me on a journey as, as a woman. It took me on a journey as a journalist. You know, it took me on a journey as a woman who advocates for younger women. And the next question that I wanted to ask, uh, ask you is, what are your thoughts about what I call this global war on women, and particularly young women? Um, who are getting lured in all parts of the world. You know, every corner of the earth, you are reading about, you know, mm -hmm. some horror story, you know, be it, um, you know, jihad, ISIS, be it in the United States with sex trafficking, you know, be it with the Me Too movement. You know, what do you think, what, what, what is this about, uh, Timor, in your opinion? I, 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 don't, I cannot really answer your question because I don't know. Uh, what I know, what I see, is a very, uh, very strange. When, as soon as the COVID, it, as soon as the COVID happened, ISIS disappeared. Mm. Like where's ISIS? It's gone. Yeah. It's, it, it looks like uh, media <laughs> creating these topics. To yeah. I don't know, because yeah. you know where's ISIS? Like it's exactly when COVID. Like they're all dead. I was going to ask you that too. Like, what are your thoughts? What, what are your thoughts about journalism today? And it's very interesting because, you know, I can remember, you know, prior to ISIS, um, 
you know, there was a Taliban, you know, I mean, it's just like, you know, all these different names for the same or, or organization, it seems like. It looks like it's looked like it's looked like a journalism is entertainment business. Unfortunately, it's it's scary uh, because my mother and my sister were jur- uh, journalists. Yeah, I read that about your mom. Yeah, I, like, I grew up in your in mother Mira, world. right? Mira yes. was your mom's name and she was a deputy yes. editor of a newspaper. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I remember how important for her was to tell the truth and to protect people and to and to use the power of journalists to, to make this world better. But uh, I think it's a mistake, mm. honestly, because I think the journalism, it's about the truth. It's not about information. It's not about self, self-expression self and because otherwise, uh, otherwise uh, you are not professional, you know? It's my, it's my, understand this movie also about it. It's about journalism. And I think the journalist must tell the facts, information, truth, and not, and try to keep your emotions uh. Uh, away from, from the, because otherwise it's very easy to be angry, to start f- to fight, you know, to, uh, and to manipulate, you know, because you need to be objective, you know, because audience needs a, very uh, very correct information not just your opinion but information and an audience will decide even i mean the, the reader will decide and, and he needs a ch- free he will have a free choice to, right. to decide where to go this is a big problem uh for journalism i think uh it's a it's a lack of uh a lack of objective uh, mm. information because yeah. it's very easy to serialize to make you know to to keep the trends develop the trends like pick something successful just try to develop it well I mean, it's tough maybe, it's yeah. it's it's tough i mean and that's one thing that your film profile uh really speaks to is because there are so many ways to manipulate the information and the yes. audience is confused. The viewer, you know, the population, the global population doesn't even know, you know, what's true and what isn't true anymore. You yeah. know, even it's, even the journal, even the the author in himself, the the journalist, doesn't know at some point what's yeah. true or not because you are in your, uh, you you could be in your uh, emotional, uh, whatever, pro- process, you know, and yeah. it. it I mean, but 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 still, I I love my 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 mother and my sister, and I know that they are human beings. It's they're not machines. And it's very difficult to 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 be uh, to be correct, you know, because emotions are are it's overwhelming. Tough. And it's uh, this movie is about it. It's about the how she's fighting between her between her emotions and yeah. her goal, you know, in her yeah. business. And this is yeah. a very uh, scary roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. You know, Tamar, I wanted to ask you, um, has your mom or your sister ever spoke with you about a time where they kind of felt like their life was in danger of being a journalist, uh, similar to your character in, in profile? Uh, yes, uh, my sister oh, wow. did, uh, because she was uh, in, in the end of 80s. Uh, uh, beginning of eight of eighties, she was a, like a liberal journalist discovering mm-hmm. the truth about the KGB. I don't know, killing people, whatever. And uh, but uh, and it was it was it was uh, 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 scary, but at the same time it was her mission yeah. to discover the truth. And and the same as my mom, she was uh, she was. I remember her writing about some corrupted corrupted officials and how mm. they, like, tell the truth about it. But um, I don't remember her being scared. I, oh, wow. I, I don't remember. That's fascinating. Her, That's fascinating. Her being uh, uh, encouraged, you know, by doing it. Because my father protected her, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you know what, Tamora, this was great. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us this afternoon. The film is amazing. I cannot wait to see what is next, you know, to come out of your canon of work. Your body of work is absolutely amazing. You know, I'm reading that they're searching too. So I, I, I can't wait to see that when that when that hits. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your time. Again, you guys, you have to see Profile. Profile. It is based off, of, based off of the book In the Skin of Jihadists about a journalist who is trying to find a terrorist group who is really recruiting, who's recruiting women from Europe um, to be killers, essentially. You know, so tune in to Nish Laverne Grant for BlackInAmerica.com. Thank, Thank you. you.